Alright, so hello, my name is Dustin. Uh, we're going to talk today about uh, this cool little thing I found called Honey Drive. It's made by Brute, For Brute Force Labs. Um, they do a bunch of security stuff. Uh, basically, what Honey Drive is, is a virtual box, right? So it's a virtual machine. Um, you can come here to this webpage, bruteforcelab.com slash honeydrive and click on this link here. We'll download it from SourceForge. Um, it downloads an actual uh, open vis visualization format archive. And what you would do then is uh, they su it works with other ones, but uh, they suggested using, uh, you know, Oracle's VM Virtual Box. So I already had that. Um, it was actually pretty easy. Once you download the file, you can just go uh, import application and choose the file. Once you do that, it will. Uh, take you, it'll walk you right through the steps. It's it's nothing too difficult. Um, you can basically leave it as as is uh, you know, for the most part, and and what will happen is you'll end up having this here. So we'll fire it up and take a look at it. Um, Honey Drive itself is just a like I said a virtual machine, but within it, I mean it's it's running Linux. And within within the virtual machine, it has a lot of tools. Um, the main the one that we'll talk about is called Kippo. It's a medium interaction SSH honeypot, um, which has some pretty cool features along with it. Uh, but along with that, they also have uh, a few other uh, pretty cool things, which they one's called Honey D, which is a low interaction flexible honeypot. Um, it also has some some cool features tied to it. Um, uh, they also have another uh, honeypot that collects malware and exploits. It's called uh, Dionia, and some other miscellaneous honeypots. Um, one called Sticky Honeypot, a Tiny Honeypot, uh, an IIS emulator uh, that's used for HoneyD. Um, and a few other little things. They actually got quite a few different uh, tools for uh, analysis, forensics, uh, monitoring, and even reverse engineering. Um, didn't really get a chance to check out all those tools yet. Spent most of my time uh, getting this and uh, you know figuring this out. Um, kind of checking over exactly what what this was right so uh, as you can see this is our virtual machine now um, it's very easy to get going but first I would say you know we got the readme over here really want to check that out um, so this is this is our readme you can see you know some information about uh, the operating system we're running um, it gives you all your usernames and and passwords. Um, I mean, obviously, you'd probably want to change, you know, the password, usernames, and passwords. But uh, it's it's going to be pretty obvious when somebody tries to attack your honeypot if the if the password's Honey Drive. Um, they're they're kind of going to know. So you'd you'd want to change them. I haven't changed them, but uh, I just left it as is for now. Um, so you got. Um, Kippo, right here, this is one, one we'll talk about. It tells you the location of it, right? Honey Drive slash Kippo. It tells you this, you know, how to start it, uh, stopping it, uh, where, see, the, the very cool thing about uh, Kippo is, is that you can, the attacker can actually connect to it. It looks like they connect to it. It gives them the terminal, um, and then we kind of let them have free reign almost, uh, we give them a fake file system to work with so they can download files um, so they could download their malware uh, it would capture that malware it wouldn't let them run it 
so kind of once they realize they can't run it, the, the gig may be up, but by that time at least we have um, some information, right? Um, uh, this is where they keep the logs there. Um, and then we have uh, uh, SQL database that, 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 that uh, pr produces some nice graphs for us. We can see Kippo graph, and we'll, we'll check that out. I haven't, uh, I, I really tried to get this to where I could uh, attack it myself, but the other tool to do so, I didn't uh, quite figure out yet. Um, um, I will provide a link to a video where he does uh, he does actually attack it and his his uh, graphs and stuff have a bit more information right uh, ours will probably be blank unless somebody tried to attack it while I was running this other day um, so let's see here Oops. let's just make this smaller because we might need it and what we'll do is we'll start it up <clears throat> Open the terminal here. Okay. And let's see. Drive. And I think we have to switch to the proper location here. So it would be. Uh, CD Honey Drive slash Kippo. There we go. And from here, we should be able to see the yeah, start sh. Uh, so we can just hit the start. So it starts up, you won't really see anything, right? But it's 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 running in the background. Okay, so it, it what it's doing is it's actually um, monitoring uh, connections on SSH. It's it's already set to monitor, I believe, port two 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 two. You can change it to do port, uh, port 22 but it, they say that it requires uh, root privileges so port forwarding is probably a better option if, as far as that goes um, like I said it has a, a fake file system so that, you know and it uh, gives people the ability to add remove we can um, add users um, and different passwords right so um, you know attackers can actually Look at the file system. We can make it appear real. You know, they could, uh, you know, look at the uh, passwords file, right, and and see users' inf information in there, and uh, it would appear real. Um, yeah. So let's let's check out the the visual visual visualization of it. It's that's probably the coolest part about this, to be quite honest. Um, that's at uh, kipo dash graph. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. It's being a little slow. Didn't give it very much memory. Probably doesn't help. Oh, here we go. Local host. Kippo dash graph. Try and make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And so we have Kippo graph here. Okay. That's the home page. We're going to go to the graph page here. Alright, so this, I mean, this has uh, quite a bit of information. Like I said, I guess luckily for me, nobody's, you know, tried to uh, attack me because we, we don't have any data here, but you can see it would capture 
you know, the top 10 passwords used. I'm, we could go look at the rest of them too, right? But, but it would actually display in a graph the top 10 passwords, usernames, uh, user and uh, password combos, uh, success ratio, uh, successes per day slash week, uh, connections per IP address, uh, successful logins from IP, you know, number of probes, uh, top 10 SSH clients. So you get quite a bit of information. I believe that actually even the IP address uh, would generate a, uh, a location like on, you know, on a map. Um, give you some kind of idea possibly where it's coming from, right? But uh, there's there's more stuff in here. Like I said, this is a very in-depth thing. It's basically a whole Linux distro that's uh, uh, you know used in security. Uh, try to help protect your network a little bit. Uh, I guess the good thing about something like this is you don't necessarily need a whole machine, right? You can run just virtual machines. We could we could put a, we could probably put a five or ten of them on my computer alone, and I'll have them uh, running different honeypots and different uh, things there. So I'll save you a little bit on resources, um, but uh, pretty neat little application that I come across there. Uh, I hope I did a, a pretty good job explaining it. And uh, if you guys have any questions about it, let me know. Um, maybe in the future, if I can uh, get the other thing going, which was uh, actually called uh, this one here, Backtrack, which is also uh, a Linux distribution, basically. Um, it has something in there where you can uh, you, you use the terminal to basically attack the other machine, and we could generate some graphs so that would be pretty cool like I said I just didn't uh, quite get that part of it figured out quite yet um, but yeah if you have any questions you know leave them in the comments or or ask me when you see me in class All right